Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how we can set up the OpenVPN server and the CTFD server on the AWS platform. So just to give you a bit of context, so this is one of the personal projects that I did recently. And with the help of my friend, I managed to make this uh, setup works. So first, the problem statement is that we want to host uh, CTF challenges to a group of participants. So they have to access this uh, CTFD uh, platform and then solve some of the challenges hosted here. But the thing is, we do not want anyone to have access to this platform. We only want people who has read through by us that we find that they are okay and they are allowed to access to this platform. So in order to do that, what we need to do is to set up a VPN account for them. So once they connect through the internet, then they have to access to the OpenVPN account. Then only then, then they can access to the CTFD platform. So that's essentially the whole idea. So as you can see here, in this uh, VPC, Virtual Private Cloud, is separated into the public subnet and the private subnet. So the public subnet will host the OpenVPN server. So over the internet, they can actually key in the domain name of the VPN. Then they will log in and download the config file install into their OpenVPN client. Then once they turn it on, then they will be able to access to the private subnet, which house the CTFD portal. So later on, I will be sharing with you how we can do that. So now we are at the AWS Management Console. So what you need to do first is to create a VPC. A VPC. So you can click on um, Launch VPC Wizard. So you choose the VPC subnet. So you can create a name. So in this case, the name that I want to put is a uh, demo VPC, and the uh, IPv4 CIDR block. I'll put this. So these two are blocked. So we can only use the last two block. Okay. So these two are blocked. Can only use these two. So we do not need IPv6 for now. So availability zone, you can put two. Number of public subnets, you can just put uh, one, will do. Okay, availability zone, we can just put one for now. And number of public subnets, we just put one. So the public subnet that I want to put is this. Okay, so we need this. This is the first one on the public subnet then the other one is the private subnet so i will put as this okay so this will be my private subnet block so net gateway yes i need because uh, in the private subnet i will have to access the internet to download some repository so just a disclaimer here what I'm sharing with you is the best of my knowledge. I'm not an expert in this. So uh, do bear with me if I make any mistakes along the way. So anybody has resolution. Then once you're okay with this, uh, okay, so VPC endpoint you do not need. So just create VPC. So just wait for it to, to activate. Okay, so once it's done, you just click on view VPC and it has been created successfully. Then next, what you need to do is to create the EC2 instance. Okay. So first, we will create the OpenVPN server first. So what you need to do in the... So you can launch an instance. So you need to go to AWS Marketplace first. Then you search for OpenVPN. Y O L, bring your own license. Okay. This. Okay. So just use this. Uh, bring your own license. So it give you a two license. Uh, and then it's free. So because we are just using this. Uh, for testing purposes. So we just choose a free tier. And click on continue. So we can choose the free tier, eligible. Free tier eligible. E2. Number of instances, yeah, I'll just put one. 
network we just put the vpc that we created subnet because we want this to be a public one so we just put public auto assign yes public ip yes we want ip this one we can just leave it by default next all these we can leave it as default a uh, network interface we can put as auto assign and once we are okay yeah the rest we can just leave it as default then we just put as storage and because our server need a, a storage to store files right so once we are okay with this then we just add text uh we can add a tag just put name open vpn once we are okay then we create a security group so security group indicates what kind of a uh, protocol can actually access to our server so we can create a new one security group name we just put open vpn uh, description generated for open vpn then at this point we need ssh so that we can go in and do some configuration so we can choose ssh okay from all sources then we can put http we also want http and https so http is the normal web connection now. so afterwards we will also install the ssl certificate so we also want the https to be enabled okay then once we are okay then just review and launch we are okay with this then we just launch it so you can select a existing key pair or create a new key pair so this is uh we need this a private key file to access to the, our server so at this point i already have a key pair so i just choose one so we just wait for it to launch so once it's uh launched successfully you can click on view instances and now we have created our first open vpn server so we just wait for this to turn green then we can start our configuration process okay so now the instance state is running so what we need to do next we can go to connect then session manager ssh client serial console we just click on ssh client so in this case we'll be using party to connect to our server so in this uh, video i'm not be sharing with you how you can configure the party to access to this uh, server i will do that on a separate video and you can check out in the the link in the description below okay so once you have configured the access for open vpn then you just load right just you open and then you will see something like this so you just click accept and you will see this window so you just follow root so lock it as root then you will see something like this so you can read through the all these uh, end users license agreement so once you're okay you just like yes so you press enter for default okay enter for default press the port number for the admin web ui enter for default specify the tcp port number for the open vpn payment let's enter for default so everything is default 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 Do you wish to log into the i mean ui as uh, open vpn default notification key leave blank ah we can blank okay so at this point remember to take note of this i mean ui you can do a print screen or screenshot because afterwards this will actually be closed as you can see so it disappear so you have to do like a screenshot or something to take note of the i mean ui ip address so what you can do is that you can, you can actually go to the this is the public ip address so you can in here then you put admin then you put https at the front once proceed so you will see something like this So you can key in the admin open vpn and the password as open vpn so it's incorrect login so what 
you can do now is to change your password inside your server. What you can do now is to go back to your party configuration, then you click load button, then VPN NS. Okay, so now we are logged in. So what you can do now is to change the password. So you can do a password open VPN. So you need sudo. Enter a new Unix password. So in this case, just for convenience, I just put the same username. But of course, in the real life uh, production, you don't put the same password as your username. Okay, so password updated successfully. So now I will log in. So you just read through the license agreement again. So you're okay, then just click agree and you will enter here. Okay. So what you need to do next is to give um, this IP address a domain name so that the participants can key the domain name and can access to the login menu. Okay. So what you can do is to go to this uh, platform called Cloud DNS. .net. So you can register a free domain name over here. So just create an account and then sign in. So what you can do here is to register a DNS. So you register a new one. So you register a free zone first. So you can give uh, any domain that you want. So in this case, we want a club demo. Okay, so register. So this is our DNS. So next you need to create a specific domain name for our this IP address. So you can add a new record. So what we want to do is a VPN 01, then points to this public IP address. So paste and save. So you just wait for it to update finish. Okay, so once you see this icon, has a uh, change to updated then you can go back here so now instead of you type the ip address you type the domain name enter Sometimes you have to add the uh, this uh, HTTPS, okay? So you will see that your condition is not private because we have not installed any SSL certificate. So you click on advance, then proceed, and then you will see something like this. So once you're able to see this, it means that this uh this working fine, okay? So next, what we need to do is to install a SSL certificate so that our connection is uh, encrypted and is secure. Okay, so over here, you can come to this guide, Open VPN Access Server and Let's Encrypt. So Let's Encrypt is an open source uh, CA. So CA stands for Certificate Authority, so it's free. So we can install the SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. So step one is to install Open VPN Access Server. So we have already done that. So we'll skip this. Then we'll go to step two, obtain certificate and install them on the server. So let's go back to our party. So you need to install this so can do is is copy paste and press enter continue next you can do a app an update next app install support this support will be the one generating the cert support do a app install support so you can check whether the support has been installed on this command also. So you can put in your domain name.
Let me do a uh, at. Awesome. Okay. So once uh, you see this, you just click yes. Okay, so once server is installed, you can generate certificate certificate for your domain using the following command. So just copy. Then just change the example.com to a domain name. Enter. So you can enter the, your email address. So waiting for verification, cleaning up challenges. All right. So once we see the congratulations message, it means that it is working fine. So this is the location where you store the key file. So just take note. Change the example.com to your domain name. Then next, goes for this. Okay. Then lastly, we start the server. Okay, done. So if everything is successful, we should be able to browse our domain. Have a, have a secure login page with no certificate errors. So let's take a look. Okay, so sometimes you have to run a few times. So even though it says here not secure, then uh, you run again. And the connection is secure. Okay, so that is the this is just the first part on how you can install SSL certificate on the OpenVPN server. So in the next video, I'll be sharing with you how you can set up the CTFD platform and how to install the SSL certificate on that server itself. Okay. So if you find that this video has been helpful to you, I'll appreciate you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next session.